My name is Lord Lee of Hurley, Howard Lee, and I'm here to talk to you about the Global Entrepreneurship Week, which starts today. And in my opinion, there could not be a better time to launch the Global Entrepreneurs Week. And in this year, GEW UK will be one of 180 countries participating in the celebration of entrepreneurship, which was launched in the UK in 2008. How, you ask, could I possibly say that, as most people are currently forced to stay at home, frustrated by the COVID-19 events, which have taken totally out of their control? Well, for many, this is a time to reflect on what you really want out of your life. And the working part of your life is a huge component of that. Most people's work defines them in so many ways, yet they often end up in a job by drifting into it, trying to climb the corporate career ladder and never stopping to think about possible alternatives. I was lucky. I decided at age 29, before I had too many, well in truth, hardly any obligations, that I was going to set up my job at a very large, give up my job at a very large multinational company and with one partner and one assistant started a new company, Cavendish Corporate Finance, some 30 years ago. It grew to about 40 people before we merged with the stockbroker of FinCap. And to be honest, I've never looked back. So I hope there are people who are attending this week who are encouraged to give it a go and start their own business. It's not just the financial rewards. They will be lower at the beginning, but hopefully much higher at the end, particularly if you end up selling or floating your business. But it's the empowerment to create something in your own style with the freedom to run it in the way that you think a business should be run, which is the incentive for many. With the added incentive of knowing that you are creating more jobs and opportunities that will benefit our economy, a particular need in the current environment. It means you can in parallel pursue other dreams, be it in politics like me or other lifestyle activities without a boss seeking to deny you that opportunity. Yes, you will need huge amounts of energy and focus, but it will be repaid many times over. And it's important that everyone feels they can do this, which is why GEW UK 2020 has one of its main themes of focus on diversity and inclusion. Research by the British Business Bank has found that BME entrepreneurs face more challenges to starting up and growing businesses than their white counterparts. BME entrepreneurs' median turnover is £25,000 as opposed to £35,000 for their white counterparts. The reasons for this are complex and to do with race, gender, geography, income, all of which shape individual entrepreneurs' experience. The government is trying to help. For example, the BBB Startup Loans Program has delivered more than 75,000 loans to entrepreneurs of some £600 million of funding, of which 10% of recipients were black, 3% Asian, and 5% of mixed ethnicity. The Commission on Race and Ethnic Disparities is trying to understand the disparities between different ethnic groups to promote equality and diversity. And the all-party political group for entrepreneurship, of which I'm a member, is engaging with the government on this issue. The excellent Exchequer Tre Treasury Secretary of the Treasury, Kemi Badenoch, MP, who was born in Nigeria, is fully focused on this issue. So it really doesn't matter who you are or where you come from. If you have an idea or a passion or a determination that this is the week to turn it into action and make it the most important decision of your lifetime, certainly the most important business decision to start your own enterprise. The UK economy desperately needs new entrepreneurs. And while I'm critical of some aspects of the government's decisions, such as withdrawal of entrepreneurs relief, promoting this week with the Kaufman Foundation is to be applauded. It is part of that all-important tapestry of support and encouragement we need to give aspiring and existing entrepreneurs so they know that they are not alone. There are always people who have done it before who would be happy and proud to help you. And I am one of them. I wish you a great week. Thank you.